and Psalms Cook Deus Homo. Book 2 Chapter 5 How, although the thing may be necessary, God may not do it by a, by a compulsory necessity, and what is the nature of that necessity which removes or lessens gratitude, and what necessity increases it? Also, if it be so, then God seems as it were compelled, for the sake of avoiding what is unbecoming to secure the salvation of man. How then can it be denied that he does it more on his own account than on ours? But if it be so, what thanks do we owe him for what he does for himself? How shall we attribute our salvation to his grace if he saves us from necessity? Answer. There is a necessity which takes away our lessons of our gratitude to a benefactor, and there is also a necessity by which the father deserves still greater thanks. For when one does a benefit from, benefit from a necessity to which he is unwillingly subjected, less thanks are due him, or none at all. But when he freely pays places himself under the necessity of benef benefiting another and sustains the, the, that necessity without re reluctance, that he certainly deserves greater thanks from the favor. For this should not be called necessity, but grace, inasmuch as he undertook or maintains it, not with any constraint, but really. For if that which today you promise of your own accord, you will give tomorrow, you do give tomorrow with the same willingness, though it be necessary for you, if possible, to, rede to redeem your promise or make yourself a liar, notwithstanding the recipient of your favor is as much indebted for your precious gift as if you had not promised it, for you were not obliged to make yourself his debtor before the time of giving. Just so is it when under when one undertakes before the sign of the sign of a descent of holy living for though after his fall he ought to necessary to perform lest he suffer the judgment of an apostate and although he may be compelled to keep it to keep it even unwillingly yet if he keep his vow cheerfully he is, not, he is not less, but more pleasing to God than if he, if he had not fought. For he has not only given up the life of the world, but also his personal liberty for the sake of God. And he cannot be said to live a holy life of necessity, but with the same freedom, but, the, but with the same freedom with, the, with which he took the foe. Much more, therefore, do we owe all thanks for, to God for compelling his intended favor to man, though indeed it would not be proper for him, for him to fail in his good design, because wanting nothing in himself he began it, for our sake and not his own. For what man was about to do was not hidden for, from God at his creation, and yet, by, and yet by freely creating man, God as it were bound himself to complete the good which he had begun. In fine, God does nothing by necessity, since he is not compelled or restrained in anything, and when, and when he said that God does anything to avoid his honor, which he certainly does, does not fear, we must mean that God does this from the necessity of maintaining his honor, which necessity is after all no more than, no more than this, first, the, muta the immutability of his honor which belongs to him in himself and is not derived from another and therefore it is not properly called necessity yet we may say although the whole work which god does for men is of grace that is necessary for god on account of his unchangeable goodness to complete the work which he has begun Boso, i grant it